Uh, I'm on the 106th floor of the uh, World Trade Center. We just had an explosion on the like 105th floor. Sandy Hook School. I think there's somebody shooting in here. Sandy Hook School. Somebody's got a gun. I Oh my God, they're still shooting. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. They're still shooting, they're still shooting. And your friend has been shot? Oh my God. So for the past 24 hours, there have been more than 34,000 new cases reported in the U.S. and more than 750 deaths. The CDC is now predicting 150,000 deaths in the country by July 18th. Right now, that number is 121,000. Well, it was a mistake that turned deadly for a patient at Vanderbilt University Medical Center. A nurse was supposed to give that patient a sedative to relax them before a body scan, but instead the patient ended up dead the next day. It was November 2007, less than two weeks after Dennis Quaid's twins were born, when the actor says the nurse caring for them nearly killed them. Each year, as many as 6,000 patients have medical equipment left inside them after surgery. The most common that are left behind are surgical sponges. They can be easily overlooked when they're soaked with blood. And up to 35% of those who have surgical sponges left inside them after surgery will die as a result. Yeah, Laura Paul, last year alone, 23 doctors were disciplined for what's known as wrong site surgeries. And while none of these incidents involved any deadly outcomes, the state's top doctors fear a catastrophic incident is now just a matter of time. The doctors delayed diagnosis of a kidney stone infection, and according to her lawsuit, that caused her to suffer septic shock, which led to other complications and ultimately the amputation of her arms and legs. What is not widely known, and the third leading cause of death in this country, has to do with preventable medical errors in hospitals. A recent article published in the Journal of Patient Safety estimates that as many as 440,000 people a year may die from preventable medical errors in hospitals. 440,000 a year, that could be more than 1,000 a day. In an important study tonight, it has been reported that medical errors are now the third largest cause of death behind heart disease and cancer. We're talking about patients dying from the care that they receive rather than the disease or injury for which they seek care.